All right. So first and foremost, I want to make sure that if you are doing anything marketing wise, that you at least have some assets to help you do it. Um, there's a lot of people that are promoting remote coaching and they're using coach now and they're asking us for assets. Um, so I want to make sure you know where to get those first and foremost. So you're going to see that I'm on the homepage here, coachnow.io. You're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to go to the design button here. So as you click on the design button, this is going to bring you to an area where you can get access to our media kit and it'll give you some best practices on how to use our colors and iconography and everything else. While we have best practices and we hope that you use them, I mean, it's not like we're going to get super upset if you don't necessarily. Um, but for the most part, you're going to want to access the media kit, grab some images, throw it on your homepage, try to make it look as good as you can. So one of the things I'm going to jump into right now as a reference of that is we are partnered with uh, Golf Digest, <clears throat> excuse me, and they do uh, a project with us called uh, Pros on Demand. And I'm going to be highlighting this because even if you're not Golf Digest, I think there's a lot to learn from the way that this is being done. But I just want to show with you, share with you the video that they put together. And all you're seeing here is just some frame recordings or screen recordings, and they've kind of put it into this nice uh, background through iMovie or something like that. But we see a lot of coaches doing this on Instagram and other things where they're recording the screen and how they use Coach Now, and even some of the clips of what they do within Coach Now. So I highly recommend that if you're really trying to pump this up and promote your brand and promote remote coaching, you're going to want to give examples of how you do it. Okay. Um, and the big thing is you're going to see here that you can scroll through your space and you can show them what's going on. You can even show how the app interacts and you can even throw a price on the end if that's something that you're trying to do. Um, so I wanted to highlight that and you can even go to golfdigest.com, pros on demand, kind of Google it a little bit. You can find this video and review it yourself. They are a media company, but believe me, this was done in a very, very simple way. And you're, you're seeing that they're referencing 19.99 a month. Okay. So we're going to talk about marketing and we're going to dive more into that, but let's talk about billing really quickly. Cause a lot of coaches have questions about that. So we at coach now, as most of you know, do not do the billing. Um, we tried it before, um, but sadly, the amount of profit sharing or revenue sharing that we would have to do to make it make sense for us um, was just too much. And we didn't want to take uh, chunks of your revenue out because you guys are the ones ultimately delivering coaching. We're merely here for the platform. So what I would recommend, if you've never done this before, you can do it super, super simple. If you want to do it in a non-recurring way, you can do Venmo, you can do Zelle, you can do PayPal. And even in some of those sources like PayPal and Zelle, you can even set up recurring payments. Right? You can request recurring payments from people. Right? So if you're going to do a $19.99 a month or $500 a month, you can request recurring payments. If you have a scheduling and billing platform already, it's likely that you can create a recurring product. right? Because a lot of those platforms are built for studios or yoga, or yoga studios and gyms right? where they have memberships that they're selling. So look inside of your platform if you already have one and look for a membership type option. Um, so that you can, uh, you know, create that product and then get people paying on a recurring model. So you're not always chasing that money. And that's a big deal. Um, but again, you can do it just one off, hit people up and say, Hey, give me the money for this exchange. Better off, uh, for me would be creating some sort of subscription or recurring model. That way, um, you're not necessarily chasing people down during this process. Now we've done webinars on remote coaching before. And a lot of times the way that we pitch it, it's more of a combination between in-person and remote. So everything that we're talking about today, I want you to recognize that you can take these best practices, take these habits. And even when we're all allowed to go back outside, not doing any social distancing stuff, you're going to have an opportunity to take a lot of this, a lot of these nuggets, so to speak, and build them into your business for kind of hopefully a bigger and better offering. So, now that we've talked a little bit about the, um, where you can get some of the assets, some of the little movies you can make, let's talk about some of the language, right? So this is a very, very simple example. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. I don't know if it will. And again, I'm a little nervous to mess with the screen too much. So apologize if this is small, but I'm gonna dive into it as best I can. So this is Altus Anywhere. Um, this is Cameron McCormick. He's the coach uh, of Jordan Spieth. So any of those golf coaches out there, you're gonna know this name really well. And this is just a simple PDF that they link to on their site. So I'm not actually going to show you what they did on their site because it's, it's very minimal, but I want you to look at how they're packaging their offering. And this is important for anybody on the call to recognize, okay, 
well, how do I articulate what I'm going to be doing? Because the thing that really bugs me and what I don't want you guys to get in the trap of is, hey, I'm doing online lessons, right? And that's why we very much call this remote coaching. An online lesson is, hey, send me your swing. I'll analyze it for 50 bucks. I'll draw a bunch of lines on it. I'll tell you how bad you are and good luck, right? If you're doing that at all right now, please keep in mind that that should be an assessment that builds into a long-term coaching program, right? And the only way we're all going to get through this together where we create a win-win for the athlete and a win-win for you is to make sure that you're creating a long-term development plan. It's better financially for everyone and the athlete's going to get better and you're going to have a more dependable uh, source of income, which is really, really big deal at this point. So what they've got, they've got Altus Anywhere Essential, which is just a very, very minimal thing. It's one swing analysis per week, but the hook is at $65 a month. So if the athlete's not necessarily taking advantage, they're still on the hook for 65 bucks. Hopefully they are. And I know Cameron and his team, when they do a swing analysis, they're going to be recommending drills and things like that. Now let's jump down to the complete package. This is an analysis every week and a monthly development check-in. So this is an opportunity for, and they mentioned coach now numerous times throughout this offer. Um, so you're going to be, they're going to have a space with an athlete. They're going to have opportunities to keep in touch. And each month, they're going to have discussions around everything related to their development, and they're going to build out an actual training plan. So in the first version, it's an analysis and a couple drills probably. In the second option, you can see that they've got the analysis, a check-in, and monthly training plans that they're going to be dishing out. Okay? And then you've got competitive, which is a lot of what we just talked about, but they're going to do skill analysis and training plans, remote game planning sessions. So this might be a Skype call that they record and it ends up living inside of Coach Now. They're going to do game film review. So they're actually going to have um, parents or friends of this particular athlete video them while they're on the course in an event. And then uh, for competitive scheduling, they're going to help you actually build your tournament schedule. So this is a huge deal, right? Think about all the things that you can offer remotely, right? You don't have to be in person for a lot of these things because when you meet with someone for an hour anyway on the range or on the field, you're not going to be able to dive into all this stuff, right? So let's think about all the different things you can bolt on to your offer so that you can really scale this up and hopefully just continue doing this even when we're back to normal, right? And then you can see Altus Anywhere Collegiate Services. This is where they work um, almost as a college, or a college placement consultation with a lot of people they know. They help you build out a resume. And I don't know if you guys can see the pricing here, but you've got Altus Anywhere Complete, which is package number two, 150 bucks a month, right? Monthly. You're going to see anywhere competitive, which is pretty dang detailed, 295 bucks a month or 3,100 billed annually. Think about it, right? You can bill annually, get people on the hook ahead of time so that everyone is bought in and you can really work on things without them necessarily feeling like they're going to bail on you right away. And the collegiate services, 1,500 bucks uh, for a one-time kind of setup with that. So I would encourage you, right, again, look at Altus Performance. This is going to be recorded so you can look at it, but actually go to their website, dig around, right? Try to figure out how they're marketing their services. Okay, now we're going to jump to Will Fleming. So he is an Olympic weightlifting coach. He's an amazing guy. He's built a lot of different opportunities within his life to build uh, not only remote coaching, but he does online certifications. So he does a lot. I'm not going to dive into everything he does, but I would encourage you to look at his platform as well, willfleming.com. There's also a podcast that has yet to be released, and I will uh, be working on that in the background as we just try to catch up with all sorts of stuff here. Um, but you can see that he's got a nice picture here. He doesn't necessarily have any Coach Now graphics, but that's totally fine, right? It's very clear on what he's doing. And you can grab these kind of graphics just off Google and fill them in. It's pretty dang simple. You can use Canva. You can use all sorts of platforms. And if you have questions on some of the kind of marketing and techn technical tools, please feel free to reach back out to us. And maybe I can do another call on like the nitty gritty of how to make graphics and what kind of simple online editors you might want to use, what kind of landing page builders you might want to use. Uh, there's a whole lot that we know that we don't necessarily share in calls like this because it just is kind of the advanced deep stuff. Um, but what I do want to highlight is, is remote coaching right for me? If you are a person who, and then he lists off all these different things. So as you're building out your, your marketing pages, it's a good but kind of best practice to make sure that you're calling out who this is for. Don't be super generic. And I think Altus does a nice job here. This is designed uh, out of town clients who want to see us in person and then in town clients who want frequent checkups between sessions. So it's very clear that these are about 
the people that they're currently working with. For you all though, you might be trying to, to gain some leads, get some people coming in towards you, and they might not know who you are until they land on this page. So be really sensitive to who you are, what you do, and how you deliver it, right? So you wanna think about kind of your hook, your story, and your offer. So your hook could be, and if we're talking golf terms, this is a pretty cheesy hook, but just kind of bear with me. They could be, hey, fix your slice in 20 shots, right? And then that's the hook. The story is, yeah, I used to slice it and I helped so-and-so and I helped myself and now I don't slice it anymore. And then the offer is, well, normally this costs X, but today you can get it for Y, right? So you just want to think about how you layer in your marketing. And these are uh, things that we can dive more into. But a lot of times if you, what you do kind of like offer hacking, right? You can look at other people's websites and kind of borrow from what they do if you really like it. All right. So then you've got monthly programs delivered to you. Weekly, weekly video analysis, access to a private team, and this is uh, Coach Now, obviously. And then he's saying, I require a three-month uh, three commitment so that we can make some big changes in your life, right? So he's saying it's 199 bucks a month, and it's a three-month commitment. So think about that in your offer as well. Get people to buy in. We all know that you can't fix somebody, especially remotely, in one video analysis or one exchange. So think about how you're going to be able to do that. And he's got a big old buy button here, right? This whole thing is clickable, right? It's a really good example here of a very simple way to market your offering. He's doing great. I know that for a matter of fact, because we've had some good chats about it. Um, so somebody definitely to pay attention to. Then we've got Lance Gill. So you can see on his homepage here, he's got home remote training right up top. So I would encourage you as you're looking at your website and how you're communicating, please don't have dozens of buttons because people are just gonna get lost. I would say, in fact, this might even be an opportunity to have less buttons than even Lance has, but let's keep it simple. Remote training, right? You click there, it brings you here. And this is a very simple approach where they're talking about it and they lay out their pricing so it's very simple. And again, you're gonna see three to six month to 12 month commitments. And then there's an inquire button. So what they do, they do most of their selling on a call, right? So they're gonna do an assessment for free because Lance is a TPI professional, he's a functional movement specialist. And he's got a few partners that are going to do a screen of this particular person and then build a program for them, right? So again, this isn't a quick fix methodology. This is how it works. And he does a really nice job of just some very simple graphics. And I've done a very long webinar with him. It was an hour long interview where he shows all sorts of different things. And uh, I'll, I would encourage you to look that up on our YouTube channel. And we've also got podcasts with Lance and everything else. There's a lot of good stuff from him. All right. So now we're going to keep talking about marketing, but this is our uh, Instagram page, as you can see. But the thing I want to highlight is how some of these folks actually dive into sharing what they're doing with Coach Now on a remote basis, right? So these are some of their stories. So I'm going to just click through here. All right. So this is a coach highlighting the uh, exchange that they have in remote time. You've got, uh, it's a game changer. Clients over the UK sending me positive reports. And the reason I'm highlighting these is so when you are promoting your own business, highlight Coach Now, right? Because we'll usually repost you or, or put, it, put you in our story. But then it also gives you an opportunity to highlight how you use the platform, right? And that's a big deal for you to demonstrate what you're doing. Okay. So you can check out some of these stories and maybe get some inspiration if you come to our Coach Now uh, Instagram page, right? This is a great one, right? They're doing all remote coaching. So go to the shout outs one. I'm going to be adding maybe another 50 or 60 that are just kind of hanging out in the background and add them in here. And I, the reason, again, I'm highlighting this is because this will give you a really good sense of how other coaches are talking about their remote coaching. Okay. And I got a question as far as Lance who? Um, uh, it's Lance Gill. So Lance Gill Performance. So lgperformance.com. And again, this will be recorded so you can dive in. And there's a lot of other resources that uh, I've already posted in the Level Up team. If you're not a member of that, uh, you can reach out to us as well. That's our internal team with Inside of Coach Now. All right, so that takes care of a lot of the marketing stuff, right? How to speak about yourself, how to structure your packages. Obviously, we can dive way deeper in on that. Um, we can dive way deeper on that as we go along if you guys have specific questions. But now let's, let's jump into the actual coaching a little bit, right? So this is in my account, and this is a young lady that I used to work with when I was actively coaching uh, a bit more for sure. But this was an exclusive remote relationship, and that's why I'm highlighting it. 
Um, she was a college player. Um, she's no longer playing anymore due to a lot of health issues and injuries, sadly. Um, but we had a, a great time working for actually a few years. So our relationship kicked off in person. I then built this company and moved away. She moved away. So it was something that we still maintained uh, communication around. So you're going to see that Christina is the one posting most of the information. And then you're going to see another coach who some of you might recognize, Ian Highfield, who was consulting with her on the mental side of things uh, as well. So this gives myself, Ian, her dad, and Christina an opportunity to all be in sync. So when we speak about Lance, I want you to recognize that Lance, a lot of times, is, is very much the lead coach, but often he is the follow-on coach, meaning that he's collaborating actively with a golf coach somewhere else in the world, right? So think about all the people that you know that you could actively collaborate with to enhance your offering and change the way that your model even works, right? So in some cases you might say, well, hey, you know, it's a hundred bucks just to work with me, but I'll bring in another coach. We'll collaborate even remotely, right? Because this is all how this works. Someone will work on your fitness. I'll work on your technical side and the package is X, right? So think about how you can structure these different offers to collaborate with other coaches. It not only is going to help you differentiate yourself and give something really, really cool to your athletes, but ultimately you're going to tap into each other's Rolodexes and hopefully build an even bigger business. And this is something that can transcend uh, beyond just this crazy time that we're in. So we're going to keep scrolling down. You can see that they're having some nice interactions. You can see Christina uh, actually saying that she went to the emergency room. So it's very scary. Uh, but this is the kind of stuff that you're going to see in coach. Now, if you use it effectively, that it, it's a communication platform as well as it is um, an athlete kind of progression tracking, right? So you're going to see that Christina added some uh, video here. I made some simple comments. And again, gave her some comments around what kind of drills she should be doing. And you can see this nice back and forth. You can see Ian throwing in some YouTube videos, et cetera. So the reason I highlight this again is that if you do this correctly, you're going to be able to pass the ownership of the development uh, over to that athlete, right? So it's not always going to be on you. So if we jump over here, you're going to see inside of Lance's world a little bit with Jorge. And they've got some more recent posts as of a few days ago. So you can see Jorge very detailed in what he's doing and not doing, right? And then you can see Kaylee, who works alongside Lance to deliver coaching, and they have this nice rapport that they're building. And I think this is really important for you to, to understand is that, again, it's a communication platform, and more importantly, it's a relationship management platform, right? So when you're doing remote coaching, the reason why we call it coaching is because you're building the entire athlete. You're focusing on the person, not just their technical aspects. People will continue to pay if you're providing value, but even more importantly, if they know that you care about them. So please, you know, really think about that as you're, as you're building out your offers, right? So now Kaylee's scheduling her, the routine, right? Foam rolling, ankle, right? Just very simple text. Again, we don't have, at this point, uh, a practice plan builder or things like that. We, we hope to someday, but you can see how simple this can be done. And then Kaylee has all this content sitting in the library. And I'm not going to click there because this account isn't live in the way that I'm viewing it. Um, but you can see they're just pushing this stuff in there over and over again. This is stuff that lives in their library. They're not creating it right then and there six days ago. It's just stuff they pretty much drag and drop, right? So we'll keep scrolling just so you can kind of get a sense of the content in here. Again, these are all things that they've pre-recorded. And in some cases, uh, Jorge might be videoing himself and then uh, Kaylee and Lance are going to be doing some analysis, which I'll show you here in a few minutes just uh, via the mobile app. Okay, so lots and lots of great back and forth. And this is, a, a, I think, an awesome example of what they're doing in the remote coaching space. Now, we talked about Will Fleming. This is actually inside of his team. Now, if you remember on his uh, sales page, it was 199 bucks a month to join a team. So he's actually figured out a way to create a lot of leverage. And this is only one of his teams. So he's got 65 members in here. And he's got a bunch of different offers. So he's, he's really killing it. <clears throat> but just imagine if you had a team with 65 members at 199 bucks a month, that'd be pretty substantial for just about anybody on this call, I'd think. But the great thing is he's doing it in a community setting, right? So he's not always having to do the one-on-ones back and forth, back and forth. Anytime he comments for, let's say Kelly here, the rest of the community is going to see it as well, right? So this is similar to what Golf Digest Pros on Demand is doing, where they're leveraging kind of the crowdsourced ability here where if they help one person, it likely is going to help a lot of others. And people are definitely willing to pay for that, which is really, really cool. 
Now, the price point might be a little lower, but I think what Will's proven is that he can charge a pretty dang good amount per month, right? A couple hundred bucks a month, and people are still in here in a more collaborative team environment, which I think is awesome, right? So he's using Teams in order to deliver this. You can see he's only got one channel here. So I'm going to jump over here and show you how Toronto FC is doing this in a kind of a smaller way. This is not uh, a paid thing because this is with professional athletes. Um, and I'm not going to show you everything because some of this is pretty sensitive, but I do have permission from my, my buddy who's the sports science director there. But I wanted to show you when you use a team, how you can create different channels, right? So you can have a calendar channel, uh, in this case, cardio, mobility, nutrition, on field, speed, agility, strength programs, tracking and monitoring, right? So imagine that you are a golf coach, because I know a lot of you on the call are this, right? You can have a team, you can have a general channel, which is just for basic communication. And then from there, you can maybe have skills and drills. You can have long game, you can have scoring, you can have uh, golf mobility like they do here. You can have nutrition tips. Um, you can have mental game, right? So think about the offers that you have, or, or, or I should say the different levels of content that you can share with people. And using a team is a great way to build more of this group setting and it allows you to organize your content in a, a very, very specific way. And then you can charge for this. So again, let's go back to charging really quick. I would encourage you, right, to create some sort of recurring product in whatever service you can, whether it be Square or the other ones I've already mentioned. Get people in, and the mechanism would work like this. You build a landing page, let's say like this, right? You, you go buy all access or sign up for pros on demand, which is what they've done. Then what happens is that they have a payment gateway that collects the dollars. Then they send out a receipt saying, hey, congratulations, you've paid, you're inside the team. And the way that you're going to join the team is, let me go to here. Oops, sorry. Let's go. I'm not a manager of that team. So let me, uh, that was a, a lot of build up for a slight pause here. So let me go over here. So you can go to team members and then you can invite new team members and then you're going to use a share link. Okay. So this share link is going to live inside of your auto email that congratulates people for paying, right? So it's a very automated way to build out the group side, right? So now we're talking about how the heck do you even get people into the system, right? So we started with marketing and billing, showed you some of the best practices on how people are using it. Now let's just talk about the nuts and bolts of getting people in, right? So if you're going to use a team as a way to create more of a group learning environment, and you're going to create some sort of recurring payment, um, or even a one-time payment, that's totally fine. You can charge $500 for one time and just call it a day. But when you have the auto receipt, you're going to take this link, the share link, and you're going to copy it and then just add it into the receipt. So when they get their email confirming that they paid, they click the link and then they go ahead and create the account. If they already have an account, they'll sign in and it'll launch them right to where they need to be. Okay. Very simple. Now, if you're trying to get people in, in a more regular fashion, right? Where you're just doing one-to-one -one coaching, it's very simple. You're gonna go ahead and hit new space. It's for another athlete. You're gonna be choosing the sport and then adding the athlete. And mine's gonna be a little slow because I'm running a bunch of different things, but you'd add them via email. So now let's talk about templates really quickly. You're gonna see that I've got these different templates. If you don't know what templates are, we have some resources around them, but there's a tab right here. So what, and this is only available to use on the web. Um, obviously, when I show you what happens, it'll be applicable to the mobile experience, but in order to utilize templates, you can only do it on the web right now. So I've got these different templates, and you can see if you're gonna do a lot of remote coaching, it's a really cool opportunity to kind of scale up your content by using uh, one of these templates. So let's see here, let's see if I got something in here. Great, all right, this is super old school, all right. so. What you're seeing here is I've got a note saying, hey, welcome to our junior program. I've got some really old videos of myself from way back in the day uh, when Edgify was first being built. And the cool thing is, is that you have an opportunity to preload this content. So you can have a template very much that's called remote coaching, right? You could have a welcome video saying, hey, this is Spencer. Welcome to our remote coaching practice. Got a few drills here I want you to, to utilize in the beginning. Please reply with a video of yourself taking a swing or throwing a ball or doing whatever. Um, or doing a, a deadlift or something like that. And then let me know what your goals are, right? So you can pre-populate these posts and you can reuse these templates over and over and over again, but you can only do it at the creation of a space or at the creation of a channel. 
you can't add them in randomly. Um, that's the, the main limit to this. But if you're trying to launch a bunch of different training spaces at once, this is an opportunity for you to use um, something that can repeat itself. So you can edit templates that you've already created and you can go to new templates here as well. All right, so we're gonna jump into segments. Now we're talking about some more of the nitty gritty stuff here. So you can see I've got these different segments. A segment is very different than from a team. A team, as you've seen, is a, a way to do group communication. Everybody's gonna see everything. It's like a Facebook group or a group text message. A segment is more like an email list, right? Where you can BCC a bunch of people, you send it to them, they have no idea that you sent it to anybody else, right? One guy that I should have highlighted, but I'll speak to him about, I'll speak about him now is Martin Chuck. He's got about 4,000 athletes inside of our system and he uses segments to communicate to all of them, right? So he might have his uh, 2019 segment, his 2020 segment. That's why he does it, I believe, because he does golf schools. For you guys though, you can very much have a remote coaching segment and this would allow you to organize the spaces that you create or even the teams and allow you to do bulk messaging, right? So you can see that I've got these different spaces in here and I can go up in here and I can go post into a segment, right? So I could say, hey, everybody, just checking in, right? And I'm not gonna do this, but if I were to create this post, it would go to all those individual spaces and no one would have any idea that you sent it to anybody else, but it gives you a, an incredible amount of leverage to do some bulk communications to people, let, let them know that you're thinking of them. All right, so we've talked about segments, we've talked about templates, we've talked about spaces, and we've talked about teams. The library is something you guys can play around with. It's not gonna make a massive difference on the remote coaching side of things for you in this moment, so I'm not gonna highlight that, but it is a very important one. So now we're gonna jump over to here and we're gonna show you um, some very basic video analysis side of things to make sure that you understand what you're doing. So this is within my golf space here. So for you that are new to the platform, uh, we do have analysis as you see, but we do things a little bit differently than some of the other platforms you might be used to. So first and foremost, let's just draw a really awkward line here. But what I'm highlighting to you here is that you can move all of this stuff. So you don't have to get it perfect right away, which is great, all right? You can do all sorts of movements if you want, and you can do that with any line, right? Okay, and then you can simply clear that out or delete it. Now you've got a versus button here in the upper right side, and this is gonna allow you to do comparisons. So if I click on that, you're gonna see that I can compare to something in my camera roll, in my coach now library, a current space or a different space. So if I were to choose current space, this is gonna allow me to find swings within this current space or even, or even photos to compare to, okay? And then if I were to hit the microphone button, this is gonna allow me to start recording a voiceover. I'm not gonna do that now because when you do these uh, live calls, it gets a little crazy. And then this button here uh, with the camera will allow you to take a photo of a particular frame. So let's go up to there. And let's say I wanted to highlight that right there and take a photo of that, okay? And then I'm gonna add that as a reply underneath the original video, okay? So now you can see I've got the original video, I've got a different analysis I've done, and then I've got a photo of what I just did. So if you're brand new to coach now, this call is not meant to give you all the ins and outs on the uber, uber basics. Again, this is remote coaching. We do have um, help sections within the app and you can always contact us to make sure that you get what you need. We're just about at our time window here. I wanna be respectful of everybody's time. I, I booked this for 30 minutes, um, but I do wanna recap what we've talked about so far, just so that you guys can leave with some action steps. So let's go kind of in reverse order here. All right, so if you're on Instagram and you're promoting your remote coaching and somebody and you say, hey, DM me if you want remote coaching, they're gonna DM you. You're gonna get their email address, right? And then you're gonna create a new space for them. That's as easy as it is. All you need is their email address. They're gonna get an invite to join Coach Now within 20 or 30 seconds, they'll be into the system. You're gonna wanna collect payment though, right? So again, you're gonna need to set up payment plans ahead of time or some way for them to give you money, either again through Zelle, PayPal, Venmo, or whatever billing and scheduling platform you already have, or Square, or something, right? So think about that ahead of time. Collect that payment, build them a space. Or if you wanna do it kinda of how I would, you would ask them to throw in a swing or something and you can do a free assessment, right? It's a free assessment and you say, hey, this is with the understanding that if you like what I say, I'm gonna come back to you and we're gonna actually create a coaching plan. And you're gonna have a minimum of three months and it's gonna be X amount of dollars, right? 
very, very important for you guys to consider. All right. So, and then we also have teams. Teams are where you're going to do some of that group coaching and more of that interactive learning community. We went over that. We talked about the different offers here. So again, make sure that you poke or you kind of check out some of the different resources I've highlighted uh, when we send this video out so you can review some of the ways that other coaches are talking about this. If you need design resources, again, you're going to click on the media kit and what's going to happen is it's going to download into a Dropbox folder that you have access to. You can then take all the resources out and do whatever you want. And then I would encourage you on Instagram, again, to highlight what you're doing. Make sure that you list remote coaching available right front and center. Remote coaching available on all of your social channels. Give them a call to action. Hopefully you have some sort of uh, web page that you can update that will give them the, the heads up on how to do it. Or you can just say remote coaching available, DM me if you just wanna go super, super simple, okay? And again, this is as much about training and skill development as it is a relationship, right? We're in the relationship business. So really, really focus on that in your remote coaching practices. Also consider collaborating with other coaches as you go, because that will allow you to build a more robust offer, tap into their roller decks as well as they can tap into yours. And you can create some, some really, really unique offerings with different price points. That'll be great for you. All righty. So I think with that, um, we are going to pause this unless anybody else has any more questions. Again, I'm, I'm very happy to answer anything you've got. I'll stay on for another few minutes. And <clears throat> if you're currently not a coach now user, um, I do want to reference, or let me say it this way. If you're currently not a paid subscriber, right? You're not a coach now plus member, right? You're not actively paying for the service uh, as a way to help out. Uh, and a lot of you on the call, I think are referenced to this. We're going to be able to give you a 30 day free trial. Normally it's two weeks we're going to give you a 30 day free trial. So all you need to do, if you haven't done so already, contact us and we're going to give you a 30 day free trial during this crazy time. Then if you want to actually convert after that 30 days, you see value, uh, we'll offer you a 25% discount either on the monthly plan, uh, which will only be good for one month because sadly that's kind of how the billing works on this side or 25% off for your first year. Uh, we want to do everything we can to help you maximize uh, the coaching opportunity here, the remote window, and hopefully just kind of help you manage and mitigate the risk that's associated with this time. Um, the baseline price, because we are getting some questions here, is $299 a year or $39.99 a month. Um, highly recommend the annual plan if you're digging what we're doing. Obviously, it's a deeper discount and it's just, uh, you know, hopefully this is going to be the way that you run your business like many of others on the call today. Um, so great questions all the way around. Again, you don't have to remember all of this, but if you have uh, not kicked off with us yet, contact us. We'll extend a trial to you and we'll give you information on the discount. Just hit us up at support at coachnow.io or just uh, send us uh, a note inside of the, uh, the platform here. Um, as far as conversion rates, sorry, I don't know all the conversion rates. You can do a quick Google on what that is for your country um, to make sure that you understand. But again, we'll give you a 25% discount and then hopefully that just helps you out. Um, We've got some other questions here coming in. I'm not sure I, I fully understand uh, the question that I just got as far as are you planning to go live? Um, hopefully I'm live right now um, and everybody's hearing it. Seems like you are. Um, I'm going to stay on for maybe another three minutes. Thank you guys for joining. Again, we are here for you any which way we can. I mean, our team is a bunch of coaches. I built this platform because I needed, needed something like this. Um, and I hope that it really helps you during this crazy time. And I will be recording the webinar. It is recorded. Hopefully the screen recorded. Hopefully Zoom didn't freak out on me. I will then dish it out. If for whatever reason this one didn't record, I've got another one that I think is probably as good as this. And I will follow up with everybody that signed up with uh, a recording, hopefully this one. Um, but not, if, if not this one, I will also send links to former uh, podcasts I've done about remote coaching. I will send you to a live interview I did with Lance Gill on remote coaching. Um, and then I believe uh, we'll do more of these since everybody's at home <clears throat> and has time to learn. What I would recommend though, is if you uh, have a certain subjects you want to dive into, please hit us up, let us know, right? We can talk remote coaching, but if you want to dive deep into marketing best practices or how to build um, your packages, right? We can talk about all of that. Um, because we have a lot of opportunities to dive in, right? And we're as 
I would say as much as we are a technology company, we are a coaching company. We know a lot about the business of coaching and we want to pass along that information as much as we can. Um, we do have videos like this for video analysis. Um, if you go to help.coachnow.io, there's a whole laundry list of videos that you can watch about best practices. They're little short little nuggets, one or two minutes that will help you dive in. Um, again, we're here for you pretty much 24 seven. You'll notice I'm doing a lot of the support these days because we're so inundated. So I'm helping out as much as I can on that too. Um, yeah. So thank you guys again so much for joining. Uh, I'm going to stay on for 60 seconds, then I'm going to call it just so this recording isn't too crazy. Um, and again, help.coachnow.io uh, help for any kind of basic help uh, resources and manuals. And again, you can always contact us as well. If you'd like a more personalized 10-minute call, you can book one of those as well with Alex Berlin, who is our head of uh, Coach Success. He can even jump on, ask you a few questions about... Uh, your business and help you integrate coach now and even kind of dive deeper into the remote coaching side if you want um, <clears throat> Sadly right now templates. Uh, this is a question about templates coming to the mobile app We've wanted to for quite some time, but given some of the other things that we're kind of facing right now uh, We don't necessarily have a timeline on that uh, But there is a hack in some way you can log into edu or sorry coachnow.io on your phone and use the web browser on your phone to launch some of those templates. So that is one way around it. Not great, but it is something that you can do. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Again, we're here to help you. Hit us up in any way that we can. I will work on getting this recording or some sort of recording dished out to everybody here in the next uh, few hours or at least by the end of the day. So thank you so much. And uh, I guess last question, and then I'm going to jump. Security measures are in place for protection of information. Absolutely, we've never had any complaints about security. We take all of the precautions that any other company is taking. Um, it's a private by default platform, which means there's no search engine. There's no way to find other people's uh, videos or notes. You have to be invited in. If you want more information about security, uh, you can let us know, um, but it is something we take very, very seriously. So with that, you guys are awesome. Thank you for taking time out of your day. And uh, we'll be in touch soon. And please uh, reach out to us, as I said, to uh, get any help that you need. All right, everybody, take care. And we're going to wrap it up. Goodbye.